Okay. We are about to get it in. Okay, this is Lewis Thomas with Math of Carpenter series. And we're going to jump right into it. And this is for Bryant, who's been waiting over 11 months for me to do a continuation. So, I don't know where I left off and what got left, what's on the internet and all that. So, I'm just going to start all over from scratch. Okay. Hey, Melchizedek. Now, I'm calling my son. Uh, give me a pencil with an eraser on it. Just in case I make some, some mistakes. Now, what I want to show you is how that I get this thing going. All right. Figuring out the roof on paper and with math. OK, we that's what we want to do this with. It's all kind of hodgepodge ways to figure out roofs. But I don't like that because I'm a professional. Now, now, there's sometimes that you have to use hodgepodge ways to do things because of certain framing situations and you just can't use math, you know, uh, because it might be an addition. It might be an old structure. The structure might not be the pitch it's supposed to be. So it's a lot. It's a lot of different variables and, uh, and different techniques that you have to use. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. Now, I'm going to show you how I figure a a mixed pitch roof. OK. This is this way that I come up with is a, a combination of many different ways and some improvement on some ways that I've seen. So what I'm going to show you is how I draw my lines, get my lines going. I'm going to show you this. All right. So you're just gonna build. You're just gonna make a right angle triangle, okay? A reasonable right angle triangle. Now watch this. Look what I do with this line here. I'm taking this, and I'm I'm, I'm swinging this in a little bit, almost close to the middle of the span. The middle of this span, okay? And then I'm drawing a line down. You see? And then what I'm going to do is I want this to be horizontal and parallel with the bottom of the sheet. OK, roughly just eyeball it. And then what I'm doing, you see how far I'm coming over right there. Then what I do is I connect this up to here. Then what I do is connect this to here. This to here. And connect this to here all right and then what I do is I put an imaginary this is a little imaginary line and it's the run line it's it's an imaginary it, it's, uh, I like doing this line here it's not to the theory of what I'm drawing but you get the, you'll get the idea once I'm going here Good. it's chilly out here today and I wanted good sunlight. And uh, this is April, what, the 22nd or something like that. And so I'm drawing another little triangle in here. You can tell that. You see it's nice and parallel with the, the base here. Now, this triangle here, this raised triangle, and it's raised up from this one here. This represents the difference in the plate height, okay? It's a theoretical plate height on a mixed pitch. On the steepest side, the plate, typically, it depends on what the overhang is doing, but typically it's going to get built up, especially if the overhang is the same all the way around, on the low side and on this side, okay? Now, the pitches that we're going to do with, deal with, we're going to deal with some extreme pitches. And, and the reason why I like this, because it don't matter what kind of roof you're doing, if you got the roof framers Bible, this does stuff that you, if you know this method, you could do stuff in here that you can't even find calculations that you can't even find in the roof framers Bible. OK, this is like the core of how they came up with the roof framers Bible. And it don't matter what your overhang is. You got a 20 foot overhang. You're going to be able to figure it out with this method. 
Okay, it don't matter what the overhang. You could be twenty feet on one side and a foot on the on the on the on the on the uh, the shallow side, which is the, like a the seven twelve. So we're gonna make this this we're gonna make this a seven twelve pitch. And so as a reminder, what we're gonna do is make a little triangle for the rise and the run. Okay, and this is seven twelve. I know I got shadows and everything, but that's why I'm gonna move everything out the way so you can see what's going on. So you can see what's going on. I know I have shadows and stuff because where the sun is at, but this is going to be the rise, seven inches, and this is going to be the run, which is 12 inches. All right, and this is going to be 1389. Is the is the hypotenuse? Three, eight, nine. Two, okay, that's the hypotenuse. Okay, for a seven twelve. So basically, basically that's it. If you look on the frame square, you'll see thirteen eighty nine. Okay, now on this side.